Welcome back to Cider Tasting 101. In this episode, we're gonna talk about not only the uh, sugar content and acid, but we're actually gonna go through the testing of it. So I'm gonna bring in Chris Passarelli, and he's gonna be our uh, lab expert for the day and talk you guys through how to do this. We're going to look at how to formally measure sweetness in a cider. And the unit of measurement for this is BRIX, B-R-I-X. The driest ciders down here are going to be essentially zero, basically zero bricks, all the way up to these, which might be four or five for a sweet cider. And these fellows are more like nine or ten. The way that BRIX is measured is with a hydrometer. All right, so today, to demonstrate the measurement of BRIX, we will be using Two Towns Bright Cider. There are a few things that we need to correct for to get an accurate sugar measurement. So first and foremost is carbon dioxide. I will degas the cider by pouring it back and forth until there is no more visible bubbles. We can still see some tiny bubbles in there, but that is not going to throw off the reading by any discernible amount. So now that we have our sample, we want the bubbles to clear out a little bit so that we can get a good, honest reading of exactly where the level of the liquid is. And as it sits, it will acclimate to the right temperature and float to just where we want it to. And I can see here that it actually very conveniently sits exactly at two bricks. So a cider at about two bricks, in this case, two towns Sprite cider, would place it kind of firmly in the semi-dry category um, with still some amount of sweetness to keep it delicious, uh, but not so much that it's sticky. And on this hydrometer, it has a correction thermometer, all the nice hydrometers do. And this one, this is a little bit warmer than room temperature here. So I need to adjust my Brix reading by adding 0.2. So rather than 2.0, because of the heat, I will correct it to 2.2 bricks. And that will be the final reading for the two towns right cider. With a given sweetness, then you want to have an expressive and balanced acidity. And this is measured as titratable acid. I have just filled our wonderful burette with 100 milliliters of sodium hydroxide solution. For this test, we will also be using the Two Towns Bright Cider. It's important that there's very little CO2 in this. Um, carbon dioxide in solution acts as carbonic acid, which will throw off our acid reading. We want to know about the malic acid and those that are naturally in the apple and the cider, not those introduced through carbonation. So in this trial, as I said, we will be taking 15 milliliters of cider and so now, for a good titration to be accurate, you want to be getting steady, slow drips. So the most important part, you have to add your phenolphthalein, or your indicator. Only a couple drops will do, and this will turn a lovely magenta once we balance the existing acid in the cider with the base solution. So what we are looking for is the point at which the color of the whole solution changes. And that looks like it right there. So now we've got this beautiful sunset color so now that we've hit this color change point, we will be looking to see how much of the sodium hydroxide has been used in the reaction. I can see my reading here. It's about 10.3 milliliters. So with our reading here of 10.3 milliliters, you, to convert it to the final percentage that we need, you'll double it. So in this case, it will become 20.6, and that will be the number to the right of the decimal point in your percentage. So it will be 0.206% titratable acid, which is on the lower side of acidity. Some of our items are more like 0.35, and some of the very tart ciders are more like 1%. And that matches with the relatively restrained sugar in there. It's on the drier side with just enough acid to balance it, but not enough to be over the top or biting on the palate. So between the bricks and tritratable acid of the Two Towns Bright Cider, we can see they've done a great job of balancing that cider, keeping it interesting, and also drinkable. So in all this fun and balancing ciders, we are lucky enough here to have very informed bartending staff. If you would like a tart cider, go ask them. They can recommend one. You want a sweet one, a dry one, traditional, balanced in one direction or another, our folks here can help. So be sure to ask.